stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush. Hello and, and welcome. My name is Clive from Clive'sArt.co.uk. Thank you very much for taking up my invitation to, to join me on subscribe. this special episode. Yes, of Jason Bowen and Clive Fiverr collaboration. My turn to challenge you, Jason. Hey, <laughs> now March being uh, the patron saint of Wales is celebrated in March as I said not March Saint David is the patron saint of Wales uh, which is celebrated in March and I thought it was a good idea to do something Welsh now I threw this at the Jason and he came back with a couple of different things but we decided to do a dragon quest yes dragons so without further ado let's get on to painting this dragon and I've selected a 50 by 60 centimeter canvas and um, I put a, just a, a grey um, tonal wash on there just to cut, cut back that white and I've taken a, a, the liberty of pre-sketching my dragon. So let's have a look at the palette setup today. As you can see I've used a wet palette for acrylics and let me just take the lid off. The lid actually keeps the paint from drying out and there's a little membrane underneath there uh, that's wet and this is parchment paper or greaseproof paper and that actually stops the, the moisture evaporating from the bottom of the paint and the lid stops it evaporating from the top of the paint. And the way we keep paints from drying out on us is use a little fine mist atomizer bottle like that. And we, we just give the paints just a quick little squirt just to stop the skin from forming. Um, it, with acrylics, um, I use a, a, a medium mix. There's my medium mix of flow improver there it's a flow improver come medium mix and what it is it's got all different types of resin in there and it actually stops the water from underbinding the paint because it is a 45 percent rule so um, i just add a little bit of water to that and we are ready to rock and roll jason okay now i've got a selection of brushes they're going to be coming up there the colors are going to be coming up on the screen as i use them i got some kitchen roll so let's get down and start painting this dragon now I'm just picking up um, a short flat um, it's a one inch um, I'm just going to moisten that very very quickly into my medium mix flow improver I want the um, the the the, 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 the <laughs> I want the hairs to absorb some moisture before I start painting because it takes the moisture out of the paint sometimes and it all these little tips help okay now let me have a look I've got, a, I've got a sketch down by there that I'm actually going off and because um, I'm not that good. <laughs> no, I pre-sketched it a bit. I'm going to use some burnt ember. I'm just going to bring a little bit of burnt ember by there. I'm going to bring a little bit of black to that. And I want this. Let's have a look if we can go straight on to the canvas. Now, you've seen me using gessos and things like that. And you can do that, you can take this straight in to a gesso. But I thought today, let's do something different and let's bring this straight onto some canvas. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bit of a, a wash down here. I'm going over my dragon. I don't want to lose my dragon if I can help it. Actually that's drying a little bit quicker than I wanted it to. It doesn't matter, we'll get around that now. So I'm just going to put a very thin wash on. You can see the difference it makes. If I, if I was using a little bit of gesso, um, you could see it would blend a lot easier. And that's why I, I use um, gesso in, in many cases. So what I'm going to do today now is just concentrate on this background. There you go. Acrylic is a, is a naturally, um, it, 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 it wants to slide against itself, um, as you know. I'm just checking my cameras on. <laughs> it, wants, <laughs> it wants to slide, but when it's on a surface like this, which is it's dry, it, 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 it tends to stick as well. And I don't want it to stick. I don't want it to stick. I'm getting a little bit of yellow ochre into that mix now. And I'm going to bring that yellow ochre over there. So it's a little bit harder to, to play with if you're not going straight into gesso. Now I, I, I like, I love gesso. I love blending with gesso. But what it does is it'll tend to 
lighten your colors if you want to keep your colors um, vibrant you've either got to use this method let's just keep mixing those two colors together and you've got to work a little bit harder when you're doing something like this or you can buy some liquid clear um, that's a, a, a liquid clear that I use for my acrylic Bob Ross techniques um, it's a, a, a Clive acrylic clear <laughs> it's not the same as Bob's no it's not and you can see if I put that on how much easier it is now for me to move this paint about a bit but the problem is with that is it does stay wet longer okay let's get a little bit of I want to get a bit of yellow over there now I want to lighten that up so the downside is it, it, it keeps your paint open a bit longer but you can just flung a bit of paint across my room <laughs> You can, um, I want to, I want to bright the yellow in there. I want to glow. There we go. It just helps spread your paint about a bit. And let's get a bit of burnt umber back in that now. Let's, let's bring that in. And all I'm doing is just blending colours at the moment. I'm just blending colours. And getting the colours that I want in you. I'm going to bring a little bit of a in crimson. Uh, not crimson, sorry, cadmium red. I got risen crimson, cadmium red. I just want to bring that there. I'm going to bring a little bit of yellow ochre to it. I want to bring. Um, it's not yellow ochre, Clive. That's uh, yes, it is. <laughs> be, I wear my tea. <laughs> Getting a bit stressed. Let me take my hat off. I think my hat band's a bit tight. Now just get a bit of red in there as well. There we go. I want this uh, glow. Bring a bit more yellow to that. So just basically merging colours together now. That's all I'm doing. And we've had a bit of fun, Jason and I. Um, we talk before we do the videos and we plan these things. And it's actually one of the nicest um, fun collaborations I've had with the... the, the um, the landscape where we did previously and um, and this one um, just planning this one was is, is, is fun for me I've really enjoyed myself um, and I and I say I and I generally do mean that I I, I, I love to plan paintings as well and the, the, the thought about this uh, the initial thought processing behind this takes a little bit of time it's not just a matter of just sitting down and painting but you can do that if you want to. Of course you can. I want to leave some brush strokes in. I notice I'm not using my blending brush. I want I want a lot rough textury type of thing going on there. Let's bring a bit more liquid clear. I'm bringing a bit of yellow down here. I want this glow here. I did a traditional um a uh, bit of yellow ochre, bit of yellow. I did a bit of liquid clear. I, it's like making a cake. I did a, a traditional um, red dragon, uh, Welsh dragon, Welsh flag, basically. Um, and that was a speed painting I did oh many, many years ago. And um, as when I first opened up my my studio, when I had my first when. When I first built my studio, I should say, not opened my studio. It sounds as if I'm out, I have day chirps. <laughs> but um, when I first um, opened the doors to my studio, for myself, to come in and paint, <laughs> I um, I did that one. It was a Welsh dragon. I'd done a, I'd done a few different things. I'd done Tom Jones and I'd done, um, I'd done some miners and one thing and another. Just a series of paintings that I was actually working on at the time. Let me think now, I want to go back into this Van Dyke, this, it's not Van Dyke Brown, it's burnt down by a bit black. When you're making Van Dyke Brown, that's what I was going to say, when you're making Van Dyke Brown, just use burnt down burn and black, it's okay. All you're looking for is a dark brown anyway. So don't, 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 don't stress yourself too much over that. Um, and you can see the way that I'm using my liquid clear as well. It just helps me with the flowability and if I put my hand there you can still see it's wet so it, it just gives a little bit more of a workability and um, if you want to pop along to the website and pick up a bit of that you're more than welcome 
and um, the money I use from the sales it comes straight back into the studio which allows me to sit here in a day or an evening depending whether it's raining or not and I because I can't work in the daytime if it's raining because I clean windows for a living and so it's just I want, I want this looking rough if that makes any sense I want to get a little bit of black in there I want to just darken up certain areas there you go taking a bit of paint off my brush I'm just making sure I'm not in shot let me just check hello I'm just checking <laughs> it looks pretty good yes I like I like this type of painting this is a nice rough and tumble painting and um, I'm gonna have to block him out in a minute so I've got to be careful I don't want to lose too much of my line work and I'll look at my sketch in a second and make sure that I don't lose him I'm gonna bring a little bit of this yellow ochre into there like that I'll be careful using the black that I use because it's um, it's a Mars black and a bit of raw sienna now it's a Mars black and um, it's got blue in it so sometimes if you mix that with a yellow it goes green which it does I use it for, for landscapes and stuff I got more control over that color actually as far as my eye is concerned uh, I, t I tend to see greens better using a Mars black and a yellow than I would do using just a, a blue and a yellow let's say I'll bring a yellow back into that now I want this glow coming in here spend a bit of time on this spend a bit of time on this because this is going to pay you dividends when we get around to doing the detailing work it certainly is Scrub this in. Don't be afraid to, to rub this canvas. You're not going to damage the canvas. Canvas is quite a sturdy thing, and especially if you're doing this with oils, you can you can you can afford. I'm just going to bring a touch of white there. And, um, so um, yeah, this is not a tra it's not going to be a traditional Welsh type of dragon, but it's going to be a dragon bit of a dragon quest I want a bit of colour in there you go I'm going to bring a bit of my burnt umber back in making it a little bit thinner and I use that medium mix which is that one which you can pop along and purchase if you wanted to uh, if you're using acrylics what that does it actually stops the paint from underbinding because the more water you add to acrylics the thinner it gets and the more chances that paint have got from flaking off and that's not what you want you want it to be sound and there's a, there's a rule of you no know more than 45 percent that's the truth I'll be doing a lesson on that lately uh, lately later <laughs> it was my with me today a bit tired I've had a long day today I have I've worked a full day and Clyde doesn't do that very often. <laughs> it's been dry. The sun's been out in Wales. Yes. So Clive's got no excuse to go to work. And uh, the wife shouts at me if I try to take a day off when the sun's out. Because uh, she wants to go on holidays and all this type of stuff. And get the house decorated. And I've been doing a lot of painting lately. And uh, not in the studio. <laughs> She's had me around the house with a paintbrush. Yes, I've been doing the kitchen and... I've been painting walls and ceilings and oh dear me and um, not as easy as it used to be because of my legs but there we go just one of those things and what I've got to do is I'm going to dry that off with a hairdryer and um, I'm going to go and make myself another cup of tea yes so um, I'm just going to finish my cup of tea dry this off with a hairdryer I'll dry it off with a hairdryer as I'm finishing my cup of tea and then I'm going to make myself another one <laughs> there's my hairdryer there it is okay I shall be back in a minute <sighs> second cup of tea tonight yes 
Don't tell her, I'm gonna have to get a kettle in here. It's easier than walking back and forth. Okay, now let's have a look at my dragon. Okay, what have I got? But I haven't got a detail brush, so I'm gonna have to get a detail brush. And uh, I keep my detail brushes um, in my little pot like that, see? I always lay them down like that um, after I've washed them because they dry. Because if you, if you leave them standing up like that, if you leave them standing up, the water drops down in there and loosens all this glue and all of a sudden your hand will come away. So always do that. It's a good tip to get into. So I got a couple of different, um, I got a number four and a number two. There we go. They'll do for now. And um, I'm just going to go straight into some black. There we go. Straight into some black. Let's put a bit of black by there. Let's put a bit more blue to it. There we go. A bit of blue and a little bit of black. Doesn't You don't have to do that. I just thought it would be good to do that. And I'm going to thin that down. See how that runs. And I want to just sketch out my, my dragon. And this is just an outline. And it's not running as much as I want it to, so I'm going to put a, it's going to put a bit of a nose in. There, and I'm going to bring up, bring up a bit of a. I want this to be a little bit of a fantasy type dragon. There you go. And let's bring him. There's his eye. There's his eye. There. So let's put a bit of a ridge there. Now I'm going to just go, just a touch of liquid clear on that brush. I want to. Bring his eye out like this. Can you like, can you see that? Let me, let me get that a bit closer. How's that? There we go. So what I'll do, um, there's no point really just filming this. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because all I'm doing is just going over my line work just so I don't destroy it um, and I'm just going to increase some detailing. So please excuse me if I speed this up just a touch just to save some video time because the last video I did was like two hours and I really do not want that to happen again. So I've really got to think about this one now. Okay, let's get this. Oh, right, okay, now where are we? What are we doing? Um, yeah, so that's the, that's the preliminary, um, <laughs> that's the preliminary painting done as far as the background is concerned. And I've just given myself some quick guidelines there. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into this mix, but I'm gonna mix a little bit more burnt umber. I'm gonna mix a little bit of black with that. Darken this off, quite dark. I wanna go into this edge now. Again, I'm going to go over what I've painted because I want to take that back like that. Nice glaze over that. I want a nice dark colour. I'm going to 
I'm going to mix up a fair bunch of this, I think. Let's get a bit of that there. It's a bit, bit more black to it. I need a bit more. Where's it gone? Sometimes we use a little bit more paint than we think. I don't want that too dark. Let's thin that down. Take the excess off my brush. Thin it down a bit more. There you go. Bit of moisture on the brush. I'm going to straight in. I'm going to pull that across like this. There you go. Where's that yellow? Bring them two colours together. I just want to bring that in. I'm just basically doing a wash. It's like a glaze then. It's just a glaze of colour again over that. Bringing that yellow in, I'm trying to enhance this glow this side by just going over it with a little bit of thin yellow. It's a quite transparent yellow, and uh, this is a cadmium yellow, but yellow tends to be a little bit more transparent. So it's going to show through that raw sienna, but just give us a nice glazy type of uh, feel to it. Just bring a little bit of red to it, on that redness there, a bit more red, make it a bit more of an orange colour, bring that orangey colour in. Into some yellow. I dare say there's easier ways in, of doing this, but I, I love working like this. I think it's great washes, and I like tonal washes, I, I like tonal wash paintings. In, 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 its entirety. I, I, I think it's a lovely way to to work, and you can get that richness as well, and that that, that transition of colour. It's like as if it's just one one mass of colour. I just love that way it it goes onto my canvas. I'm going to bring him in now. Bit of this burnt ember, a bit of black. Bring him in. It's quite dark. This side is quite a dark painting on the one side. And it's going to be fairly warm on the other side. I want to bring his underlining colour in. I'm going to bring a little bit more black to that, a bit more burnt ember. And this is why I, I use my medium mix formula is because I can get away with thinning this paint as, as much as I want because I've got no fear of it actually breaking down on me and the archival properties of this painting would be pretty good as far as Longativity is concerned because that's what that's what we want from our paintings, isn't it? To be hanging up on a wall or somewhere for years to come. I just added a little bit of yellow to that colour. Now I'm just going to bring in this bottom is going to be quite dark here. It's going to be quite dark under there. And I'm going to bring in a bit of this yellow. Just around this area, 
just to lighten it up a bit. A bit more of that dark colour then and there. Now, I'm going to put a bit of burnt umber there. I'm going to bring a bit of black to it. Now I'm going to bring a bit of blue to that. I've just put a bit of blue into that. And I'm just going to go over my dragon body. I want I want a little bit of coolness now to, to, to rear its head because it's going to be quite warm this side and I want to balance it with a little bit of cool colour. So I'm going to bring in a bit of blue to this dragon. I want to cool him down a bit. I don't want him hot. No, he's going to be hot enough when he starts doing dragon things with his breath. So I just want to bring a bit of blue into that. That's going to be my, my highlighting colour. I know it looks a little bit greeny colour now at the moment, but this is just an underlining, underlining colour, as they say. I want to darken that up, this edge. I want to look as if it's just fading. You can just about see part of his body. As he's, 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 he's doing that, Jason. He's doing that. He's, he's, he's right on a twist. Well, here's the way I've drawn him anyway. So I just want him to disappear there. But you can just see a little bit of detailing coming through. So I'm going to wash that brush very, very quickly. I use warm water in my tail. I do. How are we looking? It's been quite nice, isn't it? I got a bit of glare there, I don't think so. Alright, let's bring a bit of yellow. Thin type of yellow. I'm gonna bring that. Glow. Just down there like that. I'm going to bring a bit of cadmium red. I'm just ten, trying to. That's not. Uh, sorry, rizzer and crimson. I meant to say. I'm just bringing a bit of rizzer and crimson, and I'm just loosely. Putting this on the canvas. Don't don't try to paint this. It's, it, it, when you're trying to paint, when you're trying to do what I'm doing, well, as I got a bit of glare there. What light? Let me just check my lights. <laughs> Note to self, Jason: when using a remote control lights, don't forget which lights you've got connected to your cameras. <laughs> Everything goes boop. Oh, I don't know. I switched my cameras off. I nearly lost all that work. But there we go. Anyway, what was I saying? A bit of a, a rizzer and crimson. And let's get... All you're going to do is just get a little bit of redness. Because as you can guess, we're trying to do a little bit of fire breathing. Yes. It's a fire breathing dragon, this one. And let's get a bit of yellow. And let's get a bit of yellow in there that mix that in so we've got a bit of orange mix in with the original and crimson so you mix in a bit of yellow together let's intensify a bit of red here and there I'll build this up in stages I think be easier I use a, a risen and crimson for fire because it's that's a lovely rich ready type of look to it. Looks like fire. 
very strong, very strong red. There you go. I'll let that dry. Let's have a look at our dragon. Now, I want to mix some blue and some black together. I want more blue than black. I'm going to bring a touch of white to that. So we've got a little bit of a grey colour. There we are. A nice grey, blue-grey colour. Can you see? I hope you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a little bit of that blue colour into my dragon. You might be saying, Clive, what are you doing? Dragons are not blue. Well, in my world, they might be blue, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do here is give him a, a bit of coolness. I'm going to be doing the detailing work. I'm just looking at my drawing. Bring in, introduce in a little tiny filbert. This is a, a number eight, just to speed up the application of this color. And he's still very light at the moment. I'll bring that color there. Where's my tea? Going cold. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Time for another cup of tea, I think. <laughs> <coughs> oh, come on. What do you mean? Yeah. Salt. <coughs> oh, yeah. Bit of burnt amber, bring in a bit of burnt amber. Put in a bit of texture in here. Don't be afraid to experiment with colours and um, I think it's important that we do that because I honestly, I honestly do believe that we don't experiment with colours enough. We tend to limit ourselves to what we think we should do. <coughs> Excuse me. What we think we should do rather than play. Because I, I, I really do believe in, in, in playing. You can get a lot more fun from a painting if you just relax into it, I think. And experiment sometimes. Sometimes things might not go the way you want them to. But... That's all the fun of painting. You can make this as detailed as you want, really. Just change into a smaller detail brush.
and I'm just putting some scalars in for the moment. Think about how these scales would sit on the face. Now you're going to spend hours, absolutely hours on this, detailing for ages and ages and ages. And I'm not going to do that today, but I just want to get this. Look a little bit dragon like. There you go. Let's get this. Like a little bit of a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go along. With it. <laughs> can you see? Is it too dark? Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, that should be better for you. Blued him off a bit, but So far, he's not looking too bad. Let's just put a little bit of yellow in his eye. Let's just give us a little bit of a yeah, look a bit more dragon like now. Let's get a bit of yellow. Just put some, this is time consuming, so time consuming, just put in these little scales in and I've painted no end of fish in my time and it's, oh, it, you can spend up literally hours, it all depends how detailed you want this to be, what I'm going to do is going to stand back in a minute, just looking at my dragon. And I'm going to check out, I'm going to make this a bit lighter now, I'm going to add a bit more white to that grey mix. And I'm just touching a little bit of highlight on those little scales that I made. There you go. Just 
just to make it look a little bit more fish like. I hope you can see that. It's all about lights and, and shadows. That's all it is, it's just an illusion of colour. Bringing that colour in. Let's bring a bit more black here. Increase a couple of shadows. some white let's just give ourselves what we need to do now is give ourselves a little bit of a I'm, I'm sitting I'm really awkward angry today Jason I'm sitting I'm sitting on my arm and I am too I'm just gonna put a a few teeth in just to balance my eye a bit I want a little bit of contrasty type of look. I need I need to balance my eye a bit so I can just put in a bit of white on the canvas just to represent say maybe teeth or something. And I'll be playing around with that in a sec. I um I think I might have challenged myself today. <laughs> Trying to do a painting in a in a reasonable length of time. It's not diff it's not it's not difficult, it's not easy doing this type of painting in a in a in a, in a time frame. I don't know what time frame I'm on at the moment. But it's this is all about detailing work. That's for sure. Let's bring some bigger scales in. Down here, let me have a look at that. And what have I done? I've got a cup of You really, really do need to either reference photograph or a sketch when you're doing something like this because you can lose track very, very, very quickly. I've done a few dragons actually. I've done one from my friend Dawn once. And um, there we go. Looking pretty good. Let me have a, what have I what have I done his nose? I think I've done. I'm just touching the canvas and just making little circle marks. Where's my clay stick? I'm making little circle marks. Just you, c you can't paint every single scale. It's virtually impossible to to, to, to paint every every single scale. You're not going to do it.
So you need to, what you need to do, let me hold up what I've done. You need, just need to put representational marks in to make it look as if they are scales. And that's going to take you a long enough. To do so just continue to do that is gonna draw you in so we need to concentrate hey on welcome thanks for stopping drawing by. your eye to his eye that makes it's sense. time to learn with our friend Clive so grab your brush have a great time this fierce and don't dragon to click this one Visit Clive just mixing up another batch of grey it doesn't have to be the same colour it doesn't have to be the same colour so let's have a look you make your dragon whatever colour you want I've decided to make mine a little bit more on the blue side as I said, because I want to cool him down a touch because he's going to be breathing fire and I want that Be a little bit cooler there. Talk too much sometimes, and we make mistakes. That doesn't matter. We can recover. There you go. Back into bringing in a bit of white. Now I'm gonna. Give him some dragon teeth. Yes, I bet Frodo Baggins would be a little bit afraid of this one. Or Bilbo Baggins, as I'd say. <laughs> yes. Looks like the, the dragon under the mountain. Protecting his gold coins. From little hobbits. I think David would be a bit frightened of this one, I think. I think he would. And just continue, continue, continue. I'm gonna put this highlight colour in. I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter. I'm gonna I'll make myself a nice cup of tea now in a second. And don't forget acrylics dry a lot darker than you think. So bear that in mind when you're doing something like this. 
because when you come back after a day or so this is going to look so different so 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 different I just got a little bit of white onto my brush because I just want to get a little bit of highlight. It's gone a little bit darker than I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna I'm just picking up a couple of spots here and there like that just to put some highlight type of colours on. On these scales, that's what they are. Scales. All that work we've done underneath is doing its job. It really is. So I'm going to go, I'm going through this colour and I'm going to go through a bit of black on one side, a bit of grey on the other side. And it's called double loading. So I'm putting the highlights in at the same time as I'm putting the shadows in. That way you can save yourself time and heartache. You can a bit bigger now with these scales. There you go, we all look right in there now it is. Back into that grey. Let's put the highlights in. There you go. Ooh, he's looking good. He is looking good. Let's put a bit of white. Let's whiten that one edge off there. I want to bring a little bit of. some black. Let's get these. Back into some grey. Before I go and make myself a cup of tea, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a bit more yellow to my palette and then I'm just going to bring a bit of yellow in to that area there. I'm using a small, in fact let me use this short flat, it's a number, it's a half inch short flat, moisten in. And I'm just going to bring in some, let me see if I'm okay. Bring in some 
yellow. Into this. Because I cut that the rizzer and crimson is now or should be dry. So I'm doing exactly the same thing with some orange, yellow, as well as uh, as I did with the original crimson. And what's the matter with me today? So just touch of white. some of that yellow in. You see what I'm doing, I'm not, I'm not, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually, I'm not doing this, I'm not painting like this. That's too regimental, too uniform. So what I, what I tend to do is just let the brush do what it wants to do and let the canvas take what it wants. That way, you've got a more of a natural look to something, especially when you're painting something like fire. And um, we're going to be doing a Northern Lights or something at a later stage. And I know there's a lot of people that want want that. I'm going to go into a little bit of cardamom red now, and I'm just going to mix that in as well because it's a slightly um, brighter red than the original and crimson is a, a redder red. This is more of an orangey right the red. And if you can mix that in a little bit with that yellow, you'll get that, especially on the edges here, because that's going to be really hot there. It's coming out of his mouth, it's going to be really hot. This is going to be more red there. So that's, that's white hot, and this is red hot, and there's a difference. So again, just let the brush skid around. Yeah, canvas like this. And then gonna touch a touch a little touch of white here and there. Just let that dance in. Don't worry if it goes a little bit pink, don't worry, because we can we'll put a little bit of yellow over that after. And it's just it's just that little bit of a wow, it's, it's so hot. One stand in front of that. Dear me. Even bear grills would be afraid of this dragon. <laughs> he would, he would. Again, bring in that. Don't try and paint flames, just let. Flames, you can't paint flames, you can paint flames. Flames just erupt. It's just a massive color of red and orange and yellow and white. That's all it is. How's that looking? That looks really hot, doesn't it? It certainly does. Let's put a bit more. White. Now, what I'm going to do is going to let that dry. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. <laughs> and I'll be back like that. <laughs> I just changed my hand. Now, i got my tea. Now, I, that took me about 10 minutes, actually, believe it or not, to actually go to the uh, kitchen and get myself a cup of tea and sort the dog out and, you know, put the cat out and, and all those type of things. And um, I was actually... It's giving this chance to actually dry. Now, uh, acrylics dry darker as they dry. So you've got to bear that in mind. Now, I don't like this. I don't know what I was thinking of when I did that, but I obviously, I don't like that. Now, going on to um, the Welsh Dragon, which is the, the, the flag, obviously, uh, of Wales. This is one I did a few years ago, as you can see. And this is the Welsh Dragon. It is. And um, 
I've done that on a speed painting. It is going to be in the iCard, so if you want to check the iCard out, that speed painting was there, and it's got a bit of music to it. And um, those are the days when I was just experimenting with speed paintings and stuff. So, but um, yeah, he's come out really nice. Now I like this. This is the traditional type of claw that the Welsh dragon has, um, and obviously it's a different type of dragon to this one. Um, I don't like that there, so I'm going to get rid of that, and I think I'm going to put in. A claw there I think I'm gonna put this claw in this type of drawing there so I'm gonna use this as a guide and um, let's just put that down safe I use that as a guide I'm gonna put his claw in there but for now I'm just gonna blank that out so um dried my brushes <coughs> I washed my brushes not dried them yes, washed my brushes gone in, in burned ember back into burned ember and I'm just gonna paint that out like that I'm gonna put a little bit of black to that I think I want to darken that right up, get rid of that. There you go. I just, it's not disappearing enough. Let's add a little bit more black. It doesn't matter about it being dark. This area is meant to be dark. And um, I hope you're doing really well with yours, Jason. Yes. And uh, this is a fantastic challenge. I, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this because it's, it means a lot to me. Being um, that time of year where we celebrate St. David's Day, which is March. I'm just darkening up a couple of little areas by there. Now before I put his, um, before I put his glory type thing in, I'm just going to carry on with uh, uh, this I'm picking up my number three detail brush and going back into my my gray I'm gonna mix a bit more of that up there you go and I like this blue gray type of effect especially for scales and all I'm doing is I'm just gonna put in the scaly marks now like this not too worried about because I'm going to put a wash over this later on and if you're familiar with acrylics you know you can do that so don't don't stress too much about detail as such and you can see um, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting the brush down and I'm just pulling through little marks like that that's all it is I'm not I'm not stressing too much about actually try and get you know the, the, the real shape of scales it doesn't really matter because when you, when you stand back your eye will make these up and I, I want to get these a bit bigger now two reasons one because I want the scales to look as if they are bigger because it's going into his body and the other the other thing is it's speeding it up a bit for me <laughs> so um, the winds picking up this evening out there I can hear the old wind picking up we've got a lot of wind in Wales lately so before I go any further I'm just gonna get a little bit of black on the tip of my brush just get a bit of moisture a bit of black on the tip of my brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of shadow in in here and there and there and here like that. Give it a little bit of scale like appearance and as I said I am going to put a, a wash over this there you go and let's try and let's build up these, these scales I can make this a little bit darker now actually Continue to do that. Just put a little bit of shadow underneath with a little bit of black, just on the touch of your, on the edge of your brush like that. Just to because these are all different types. These are all different colours as well, so I'm not too worried about that. This is going to dry a little bit darker. 
Yeah, a bit light by there, so I'm just going to go over them. But I am going to go over his eye anyway. Um, I need to lift that eye up. There. Like that. I'm giving him some big spiky things on the top of his head. Let me have a look at my Welsh dragon. I haven't got many on that one, but I, I want this to be a different type of dragon, so I want to make it look as if There you go. I'm just gonna couple of little dots here and there. Make it look as if it's tiny little scales. A little bit of a and Jason um, has been in encouraging me to actually work with um, water mixable oil paints. Yes, yes. I'm new, Jason. You are. And, um, I've been, I've been, I've been trying to find where I can actually buy some nice um, water soluble oil paints, and um, I've, I've looked in the range and that, which is a UK based, like hobby craft type of multi departmental type of place <laughs> and I, I am I've only found um, a Reeves make which is oh, little tiny little tubes like this and they're, they're no good to me I want big tubes I like big tubes yes so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe having a practice with those I'm just trying to get some color in there how are we looking how's that looking that looks pretty good doesn't it Yes. I want to do something for you. What can we do here? Let's let's get a bit more. You can see how that's darkening already. So you you don't need. You've got to be careful. It, it'll dry at least two shades darker. So it looks quite bright now, but as you can see, that's already starting to to darken off on me. So when you're doing something like this, be mindful of that. And it's it's quite a hard thing to get used to is you're painting a lot lighter than what you would normally paint but okay let's just let that dry off a minute and um, I'm gonna wash that brush where's my bin oh there it is okay and I got a got one of these little uh, Conti are they Conti Conti or uh, Faber-Castell pencils there you are see Faber-Castell pencils and um, they're ideal for painting I uh, for painting you can't paint with these you draw with them yes ideal for drawing on on you know dark surfaces like the black canvas or something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up old Welsh dragon there like that and I'm going to put him by there and I'm going to have a look to see where I can get this claw coming in because this is a traditional Welsh type of dragon of the Welsh flag, so I want to incorporate a little bit of that in. To this. Something like that. There you go. Okay. We'll work with that. <laughs> right, can you see that on our camera? Yes you can. Okay, let's have a let's see if we can let's see if we cannot work with that. Let's get a little bit of paint on a detail brush and 
let's go let's go into a bit of this dark grey Let's just paint them out for a minute and then we can put the detail in, in as we progress with that. It's going to be a bit of glow on the bottom of his foots there. This is just a block out, so it's just a we can alter this as we see fit for the moment all we're doing is just establishing shape and form and giving ourselves something to work to I'm really enjoying these um, challenges with Jason. As I said, this was my challenge. I encourage you, um, if, if you're watch this, watching this on my um, my channel, I, in, I encourage you to um, go and check Jason's channel out because he's a, he's a great artist and he's done some wonderful works of art and he's, he's uh, done a lot of Bob Ross style paintings and. Um, is, uh, as he loves Bob Ross as much as I do and uh, I think it's, it's wonderful that we are still bringing that type of painting and style of painting um, today I think it's a wonderful style of painting and I'm just blocking that out We'll get some shape and form into a rather fierce looking Welsh dragon. That looks a lot better, I think, than uh, it does. It looks a lot better than that funny old thing I had going on up there. And don't we ever be afraid to to the change and develop your painting as you go along? Don't 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 try not to get stuck. Uh, on, on on ceremony really and you know you, you you've got to be flexible when you're painting because if you're not then your painting is not going to develop and it's not going to you're not going to grow as an artist if you're inflexible you've got to be flexible you've got to you've got to try different things Get a bit of that burnt umber and what we can do with him now. I want to try something and again a, a small flat like that. Now go straight into this paint. I'm going to thin it down a bit with my medium mix and I'm just going to go and see what would happen if I put a light wash over of that colour, maybe a little bit thinner. And when doing this you've got to make sure that you know your paint is dry because if you don't you're going to start mixing these colours together on the canvas and that's not what you want to do. We want to get that, knock that colour back, not not make it look so blue. I want it to have a little bit more fierce, more scaly like. I want the emphasis to be on the flames in his eye and that's what I'm looking to do. So let's just put a 
bit of a wash over this grey and blue mix that we made the scales and you can see this actually knocking those scales and they're looking more scaly they are they're looking more scaly we can always get a little bit of orange and just lighten up put some highlights in like that where you can see the excuse me <coughs> where you can see the um, the glow off those flames and this let's brighten up his eye once more there you go I'm going to carry on putting some scale type patterns in here now and I'm just going to lighten this blue up once more and I'm just going to go in very simple very easy simple way to do some sort of a scale don't work too hard it's not it's not I haven't got scales on this one I don't know if you have noticed, but if you look I haven't got scales on him he's just painted so but he's very muscular so if you, if you can get away without painting scales, then get away without painting scales. But all I'm doing is I'm putting a lighter colour on top of that darker colour. And I'm just going to tap the brush because I haven't, I don't want to, if, if I was doing this for myself, I'd spend a lot of time on these scales. But video sake, then this is a good way as well. And, and if you're just practising or you're just learning, then you can get away with this because your eye makes detail up don't ever forget that your eye will make a detail up and you're not you, your mind knows that a dragon's got scales so when you see something like this your mind is already determined nin 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 it's already determining nin 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 <laughs> it's already making his mind up <laughs> that it scales so you, you you don't need to work hard put in a lot of detail in this type of thing at all not really no I'm gonna put a bit of white into this claw there now I'm just going to bring a little bit of shadowing in on the claw like that a touch of black just a touch of black and bring that in and merge that in blend it in no sharp edges so it looks as if we got some sort of a nice sharp claw going on there and let's put that shadow there like that that's his pad that's the foot pad that he's got there so this is his toe area and that's going to come up like that and this one is going to come up like that and this one's going to come up like that put a little bit of black around like that what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get this brush this um, short flat I'm just going to merge that in there you go now I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer oh, and have a quick swig of my tea. <laughs> I haven't drunk my tea yet, Jason. No. So let's dry that off with a hairdryer. Okay, so what I want to do now is make another wash of burnt umber. Just a touch of 
black. And I'm just going to go in again and brown down that blue. Now, let's just get around there first. There you go. What I can do now is I mix a bit more black to that. Make it more black than, um, than uh, burnt umber. Taking the excess off my brush and I want to darken this in even more now, just on that edge there, bring the dark in. And what I want to, what I'm trying to do now with the, with the dark is balance the light. So we've got light and dark, and it's try, I'm trying to balance that off. It's like as if he's just coming out of the shadows there. There we are. That looks good to me. It certainly does. So what we could do, um, we've got so many brushes on the go here, there it is, there it is. Let's make a little bit of grey. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit blue. Touch of black. Just bring a little bit of detail in. A little bit of black. I want that edge to be dark. Oops, I want that edge to be darker down there. Let's get a little bit of yellow just on the tip of my brush. Bit of white, bit of yellow, bit more white. Straight into some pure yellow now. I'll just play with his eye a little bit. Pure black. Yes, isn't he? He really is. So, what do we need to do now? We need to get some of this light colour and just put a, a little bit of highlight. Oops, where did that come from? Easy recovered, you can't do that with oils, Jason. <laughs> I could just wipe it off. So, there we go. Can't do that with oils. No, you can't. So that's one for Clive. <laughs> let's get let's get a little bit of highlight. And you could go to town. You go to town with this. You really, really can. And I think it's important that you do that and just enjoy painting because I love painting anything really there you go <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up some bright yellow and again I'm just going to just increase a little bit of yellow into the painting because that's red hot yes it certainly is now if you want to click the right hand corner by there and um, there's a little eye just tap your screen um, if you're on a smartphone 
and there's a little um, circle with an eye in it will pop down and there will be a selection of uh, videos in there um, also taking you into Jason's uh, channel and um, some of the things that we did one last month which was the um, the walk the long walk home I call it so um, yeah check that out Jason's got some wonderful um, paintings there so please check his channel out um, and there is other things in there for you as well if you want to put um, Clive 5 Art into your search bar on YouTube and then all my paintings and my channel will pop up and it's important that you click onto my channel then you've got all the videos all the playlists and all the other relative information that's going to be available to you and there's nearly 400 videos in there so please 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 don't just search on you YouTube search specifically um, for Jason Bowen search specifically for Clive 5 Art and that way you'll go straight into the channel and then you will find all the videos in playlists there um, that um, I've done on my channel and Jason has done on his channel. So I want to thank you very much for joining me in the studio today and um, I want to thank Jason for taking up my challenge and I'm looking forward to seeing your video Jason. So um, yes, yeah, the link is there for Jason's and obviously go into his channel. So have a good day, good week, good month, good year, because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this. But from me and Bob the Dragon, I will see you on the next one. Nice. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk